What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cryer here, and today we're going to be talking about Path of Exile and their upcoming expansion league, Synthesis. Now, for those of you that don't know, I really enjoy me some Path of Exile, and I've wicked enjoyed the last three expansion leagues. We've got Incursion, Delve, and Betrayal. Delve is probably my all-time favorite expansion league for PoE, and one thing about Path of Exile is every time they announce a new league, it's pretty much an expansion with new mechanics, new items, new ways to play the game, and it's a very, very interesting way to do seasons, if you will, if you're a Diablo 3 player. But their leagues are pretty jam-packed with new content for the game. And it makes the game quite enjoyable, changes things up a bit, so you have to redesign how you play the game. And I wicked enjoy that. Now, this is their latest league, the Synthesis League. And I have not watched this trailer at all. I have not read anything about this at all. I purposely stayed off Twitter today to make sure that no spoilers were given to me while I was working. And we're going to take a look at this in kind of a reaction video type of way. We're going to watch this trailer together. Then we're going to scroll down, take a look at what they have to say about this league. And hopefully we get some enjoyment out of it. Hopefully you guys like this. If you don't, let me know in that comment section down below. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done something like this in terms of a reaction type of video. But let's go ahead and take a look at the upcoming league for Path of Exile. To be forgotten. A fate worse than death. It is as though my very thoughts are breaking. Rectory is a Whoa. There are secrets buried in my memories, Exile. Are those the maps? Save these memories. Preserve them. But move swiftly. Let's to be forgotten. What? That's crazy. Are the maps like closing in on them? In this realm, ideas may be manifested into reality. That's wicked cool. Love the graphics of this game. Build paths to secrets long forgotten. What? Treasures you could only dream of. Synthesized into your very hands. Oh, damn. To create something truly unforgiven. New monsters, that's cool. That looks wicked cool. Looks like, oh, betrayal's still in it. That's crazy. It likes it's like parts of the map are not there anymore. What was that? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What is this? I got to go back. What is that? That looks like wicked cool. I'm sorry, but if the maps are closing in on you while you're running maps, that is absolutely insane. That definitely looks uh, pretty cool. All right. We're going to have a drink while we listen. Connect these memories together in the memory nexus to reach distant memories containing dangerous bosses and valuable rewards. So like a new map system, it looks like. I love the way those mobs look. Those monsters, if you will. Paranda stuff. Memories decay after a few runs, so plan your path carefully. 
Oh. Decaying memory sealed fractured items with broken mods that are locked in place. Wait a minute. So the mods on some of these items are just locked and you can't change them at all with chaos or anything like that? Is that what that means? That's what it looks like it means. Odds are most of the time you're going to get crappy locked mods, but if you get really good ones like that 100 max life and 42 fire, you're looking at pretty awesome gear that you could try to craft with that. That's pretty awesome. Yep, that's exactly what that means. It can't be changed. That's pretty freaking awesome. Consume these fractured items to synthesize new base types with custom implicit mods based on the fractured items you used. What? Synthesis also contains a complete balance overhaul of all spells in Path of Exile, six new Chaos and Holy spells, and significant incentives for hand casting, including several new spells. Did that say balance of all spells? That's crazy. That means some nerfs might be coming. Check out pathofexile.com slash synthesis to learn more. Now that is pretty awesome. I gotta say that's that's definitely cool. Let's go ahead and scroll down. See what we got here. Uh, Path of Exile Synthesis. You will encounter Kavas or Kavas. Recover his lost memories and chain them together to reach valuable rewards. New boss fights, which is pretty cool. And crafting opportunities. Our March expansion contains the Synthesis Challenge League. New items, new gems. A complete rebalance of spells throughout Path of Exile. An integrated version of the Betrayal League and much, much more. That is pretty awesome that Betrayal is staying. Delve is most likely, most likely? Delve is most likely staying and Incursion and Bestiary. So that is pretty awesome that they're still keeping all of these amazing things intact in the game. To help Kavas remember his past, you will find fragments of his decaying memories throughout Rayclass. Fight your way through the monsters that inhabit his memories in order to activate stabilizers before the memories collapse around you. So that's a pretty cool idea of the whole map or whatever you're in as far as that goes collapsing in on you and making it harder to complete the map and making you have to move faster, etc. Kind of like the Delve does. Maybe that's what that means, I'm hoping. Because yeah, it looks like this is all just breaking around him and it's closing in so i'm thinking that's what it is we'll have to wait and see get more info as we go but that just looks really cool that it's all just fading away into nothingness it just looks wicked awesome very very cool mechanic it looks like just just the way everything's disappearing it looks like they use a lot of the current tile sets. They don't add a ton of new maps, but I'm guessing they're going to add new maps as well. And this whole bridge thing where you piece together where you want to go, you can see that this one has item quantity, item rarity, and etc. all the mods, and you'll be able to link these together and keep going. Kind of like a greater rift, maybe? where you want to get going further and further in advance and make it where it doesn't collapse in on you before you can get to the spot you want. That seems like a very, very cool idea. So yeah, stabilized memory fragments can be pieced together to navigate the void in Kavasa's mind and reach his distant memories. But beware, these fragments can only be explored a limited number of times before they collapse completely. So plan your path carefully all right so you got some choices to make while you're doing it that's pretty cool distant memories within kavasa's distant memories are many types of valuable rewards as you progress deeper within the recesses of his darkest memories his mind starts to synthesize encounters with dangerous and twisted manifestations so i'm guessing the new monsters new bosses that sort of thing this looks like it's a brand new boss this just looks wicked cool here's another new boss and that guy looks pretty badass and this thing oh it's a boss that's what that is from the trailer 
It looks like it's a boss that you're going to have to kill. That is pretty beast. That thing looks just plain awesome. Oh, this is definitely pretty cool. And yeah, fractured items, all those mods are locked in place. All the non-blue mods for these items are pretty locked in place so that you can do some heavy crafting with it and not lose those specific mods. That's pretty beast. For instance, this one here with the 37% increased energy shield. Yeah, it's got that increased block and stun, stun and block recovery, but that's still pretty cool. You can make a nice energy shield thing out of it, and that's that's pretty awesome. So if you get a really good roll on those blocked mods, you can do some epic crafting, and that's that's one of the best things about Path of Exile is being able to craft some wicked cool gear. The synthesizer in the memory nexus lies the synthesizer, a powerful device that lets you destroy fractured items to create base types with custom implicit mods. So that's pretty cool. You can make a white base ring with curse enemies with level five flame ability on hit or plus one max fire res. That's pretty beast or adds one to 120 lightning damage if you haven't killed recently. Or is the Onslaught that mod that was added? That is pretty awesome. Spellcasting Rebalance Synthesis also contains a complete balance overhaul of all spells in Path of Exile. With six new Chaos and Holy spells and significant incentives for hand casting, including several new support gems. So instead of using your totems for everything, because totems have gotten... A little bit out of control in Path of Exile, but totem builds are wicked fun. That's that's pretty much why, but they are super, super powerful. But it looks like they're adding and changing every single skill in the game as far as spells go. That is pretty beast. The damage of almost every spell in the game has been adjusted, providing many more powerful options for spellcasters. We've also reworked Stormburst flame totem and the storm barrier support so that looks pretty beast what do we got here new support gem unleashed the unleashed support builds up power over time to have spell casts fire multiple times that could be pretty interesting to add to certain skills and could lead to some really really cool looking builds and last one here is new support gem spell focus the spell focus support shifts from an area increase to a powerful damage multiplier as you repeatedly cast supported spells so that is pretty cool it kind of condenses down as you cast it that's what i'm thinking happens and that seems pretty decent as well new caster archetypes the new holy spell caster archetype features path of exile's first holy spells oh damn including divine ire purifying flame and wave of conviction this chaos spellcaster archetype not only provides an easier introduction to chaos spells with soul rend but adds many new tools to path of exile's existing arsenal of chaos spells that is pretty beast that looks pretty awesome consecrated purifying flame unleash a sudden blast that consecrates the ground and sends out a purifying shockwave wow this is pretty awesome powerful new items we've got storm's gift assassin mitts 27 27 percent increased damage over time 284 percent increased evasion lightning res enemies you kill are shocked shocks you inflict spread to other enemies all right so once you kill an item it uh enemy it gets shocked and that shock spreads in a radius of 15 that's pretty cool a new scepter 40% increased elemental damage, cast speed, that's ridiculous cast speed, new flask, some new cards, divination cards, the Mad King, the King's Path, hmm, Arrogance of the Val, item two, Implicit Corrupted, that is pretty awesome, and then we've got three times Orb of Annulment, the Seeker, so that's pretty cool. They always add new divination cards, which is also pretty cool, and the new items. And this is going to be pretty decent. Then they've got their supporter packs, which always look pretty beast. Not sure how much they go for right now. Let's see. 30 bucks for the base supporter. Eh. 
but some of this stuff looks pretty cool uh, that is a pretty awesome portal effect overall but we'll see if we uh, do any of that not sure on that but overall I'd say this definitely looks like it's introducing a lot of cool stuff to the game and I am looking forward to synthesis March 8th all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for checking out this video I always greatly appreciate that hit that like button hit that subscribe button and you all have a fantastic day peace